right, guys, today is the day we got the FI exhaust, the first one in the United States from our friend Chris from FI Exhaust. Chris, thank you so much for getting this exhaust out to us. We are so excited to put it on the M2, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So obviously, we're going to be taking the M2 today. It's a full cat bag exhaust that we're putting on. So from the cats all the way back, uh, carbon fiber tips, and it does use the factory valve system, I'm pretty sure. Um, we will be doing a full unboxing when we get there. But currently right now, we have the stock exhaust with the Dynan midpipe. So let's get the final cold start on what this thing sounds like with the valves open. All right, so as we get in here, what we're going to do to open the valves for the cold start is we hit the ignition three times. That brings the car to life. We hit M2. And then we do the cold start. Guys, that is the stock startup with the Dynan midpipe. So, so the two resonators that are on the car are completely deleted right now. With the full FI exhaust system, everything gets deleted from the cap back. And then there is a muffler system that when the valves are closed, it quiets it down a bit. So let's go get to the shop and let's get this thing on. One eternity later. So Fudge, mm. I filmed the cold start this morning with okay. the stock exhaust and dynamite mid pipe that we installed. Okay. But now we're gonna be installing the full FI catback system, which has no restrictions. So no secondary cats, no resonators. And then when the valves are opened, there's no muffler either. The only thing that's not getting restricted is the noise. Cause we're about to make a lot of it. We are, we are. So let's show them what we have under there underneath right now. All right. So here we have our stock muffler. Yep. Uh, two motors. Yep. One on each side. Two motors for the valves. Then we come and then this is what we did this is the previously. Dining, the dining mid pipe. Yep. Um, Which will be for sale. <laughs> Hit us up. And then we have the secondary cats. Correct. And I think you did you run over something, Tyler? No. Uh, anyway. Um, but you see the banging and. Just gonna, Oh, I'm okay. tighten that back up. Uh, yeah, so you you tried some experimental stuff on this. It didn't really work out too well. No. We're not going to talk about it. These are coming out anyway. Yeah. So those will be for sale too. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get to work. Let's do it. All right, Fudge, we got everything unboxed here. Let us know yes, what sir. we got. So we have the mid pipe section here, which is pretty similar. Yeah, super similar to the dining. Um, these are going to be, so these are going to be basically our front pipes okay um so this one looks like it's this side Maybe. our front pipes there you go wow so this actually does have a well it's straight through it's just that this is more of a, a sound um resonator okay they, it, there's no restrictions in there it's just to help with the uh hopefully keep down the rasp that the bmws have so there's one on each side okay cool yeah, yeah the other one's down at the bottom and then we have our muffler basket here yep. with the two motors still attached or swapped over they'll yep. be here um and then just connection pipes and then we have our carbon fiber beautiful exhaust tips yeah they look really good yeah those They're are gonna look really nice good. those are gonna fill the bumper in there real good yep everything looks really good piping is really nice super good tight. quality nothing came in the box messed up all this is right. still circles so <laughs> that's, that's a good, good. that's a plus <laughs> yeah. when packaging is good we're happy
All right, Fudge, where are we at? All right, so we got the stock exhaust system off, yep. all semi-stock, dyna mid-pipe, and then the stock muffler basket off. And then we have our FI mid-pipes here yep. um, with the hangers. So I guess maybe in different regions, they use EGT sensors on each side. Right. Obviously, we don't. So they send the block off in the pipes, which is great. Yep. Um, and then we have our rear section pipe yep. installed here, and it slid in like... It just wanted to go home. It was like, put me... It fit home. really nice. Hey, no problem. We've done... Honestly, you can tell them. We've done a lot of exhaust yeah. systems and... I think tell we should the, just put the tips right here. Tell them the problems you've had, though, with some other oh, systems. Dude. yeah. The circles become squares. The, uh... <laughs> These they, circles. They don't line up whatsoever. The pipes are pulling each other apart. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Right. I, I can honestly tell you, this went in way too easy. And I'm, that was just... It didn't feel right because it didn't fight <laughs> me enough. But I'm going to take it as it is. So Sweet. let's keep going. Let's do it. All right, Fudge. All right, Tyler. So How we doing? We have completed the FI exhaust on the G87 M2. Um, I can honestly tell you that I've done a ton of exhaust on the G80s, G82s, G83s, no matter what, multiple brands. Nothing has fit as easily and as time efficient as this exhaust did. It was- And that's genuine. It, um, I, Fuzz normally gets really upset when installing exhaust. A hundred percent. That this is being a hundred percent true and honest. This thing fits so nicely. And trust me, I go in having oh, it's you know whatever. It's it's FI. It's this company. It's this company. It's gonna fit like ass. Whatever. It's got right. thirty thousand pieces to it. It's right. never gonna sit right. I'm blown away. Honestly, blown away. Sweet. So, walk. Give them a little walk through. Yeah. So we have our muffler here. Yep. Give it a good smack. Carbon tips. We have our uh, motors kit that get swapped over okay. uh, with the extension harnesses. Then we go to the rear X pipe. Yep. Uh, we go to our front mid pipes. Yep. I mean, nothing's touching. Everything's tight. Everything lined up. Our hangers aren't being yanked. Everything fit amazing. Sweet. Honestly, so I'm excited to uh, to hear it. Everyone's favorite part, Fudge. So I started this morning with the valves open. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the same thing and get a cold start with the valves open. Let's do it. I like this. I like this. Alright. Yeah, we'll let it warm up and then uh, we'll do revs and of course we'll do some flybys. Alright guys, so we have valves closed. Fudge, go ahead and give it a rev. And now Fudge open the valves. Wow. 
this sounds good. good. This sounds really good. Yeah. Under load, I think it's gonna sound even better. Oh, it's gonna sound amazing. Well, let's go do a flyby. All right, Fudge. All right, Tyler. We're in the G87. We're on the streets. So right now we got the valves closed. Yep. Um, sounds like how the dining sounded. Right. Um, just the midpipe with the stock muffler. Very, very similar. Nothing over the top. Just a nice smooth tone. But um, we don't. Let's just open it. Yeah, we got to open the valves. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's a lot better. It sounds really good. Yeah. And... In any new BMW or any really new car, the interior cabin noise is really good. Oh yeah, these cars are sealed up nice. So. But we're gonna get you a outside video of yep. us revving it. So let's find somewhere to stop and then we'll get you some more. Let's do it. All right, so we got valves closed. And valves open. That sounds really good. Yeah. All right, Fudge, time for the flybys. We're only doing flybys with valves open. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the full install and sound of the G87 M2 with the catback FI exhaust. The tips look so good on this car. If you guys would like to purchase this exhaust for your G87 or your G82 and G80, the link will be down below in the description. FI exhaust, full catback system. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, like and comment down below and more to come with the G87. And thank you to FI Exhaust. Um, if I cannot believe how good this car sounds uh, with just the cat back. It sounds really, really good. There's no rasp whatsoever. And I know BMWs have those issues with the rasp. No rasp. Sounds great. Looks good. Fits great. Can't complain. Guys, if you want this exhaust, link is down below. Thanks for watching.